Hi everyone. Hi YouTube. Welcome to my channel. This is your girl Simply Love and I'm here to do your mid-month for you. It's going to be short and sweet. Sorry about that, but I'm so bombarded with readings that, uh, but I do, you know, I'm taking some time out, <laughs> which is today and tomorrow to do your mid-month and then I get back to my readings on Monday. I'm, I have a full schedule and I had a full schedule in December, got a full schedule here in January. So I'm going to be booking all the way up until, until, um, uh, the, the second week of uh, February, I'll be booked up, you guys. So thank you so much for choosing me to be your reader. Thank you all who view my channel and share my videos and make your wonderful, beautiful comments. Simply love really, really uh, thanks you so much for that and enjoy it so much. Thank you. So let's get right into it, okay? <laughs> Sorry, I belted had a little bit of ice cream. Oh, a little bit of ice cream. <laughs> this is going to be for the sign of Scorpio. Hi, Scorpio. How y'all doing? Male, female. You know, these can be your sun, moon, or rising signs. Y'all know how to, y'all know the drill already. If you've been here and been to other people's, you know how we do here. There's no general specific here because it's just a general reading, okay? Doesn't apply to all. You might want to check your uh, rising moon or sun sign. Uh, to see more messages, if this doesn't resonate with you, but I try my best through asking the, you know, angel guide to speak through me to you guys, uh, who, who view my channel, okay? So here we go, let's roll. Oh What's that mean? Hold up, y'all. I think my power cord or something, I don't want it to die out. But I got it plugged in. Oh no, it didn't. It came out for some reason, I think. Yeah, it came out. Just a second, y'all. Sorry. I don't want the video to stop. Okie dokie. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Now, where's my glasses? Hold up. Hold up, Scorpio. Oh, here we go. Okay. Here we go with the reading. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> um, first off, I see the Five of Swords here in Scorpio's reading. And for some of you, feel as though... Let me get this light in. See that? The Five of Swords. Where um, somebody feel like they're getting away with something or it was some kind of uh, pre... Pre... Like somebody feel like they beat somebody out of something because see one person's walking away and they're really sad. The other one is like some kind of they kind of look like they slick or something like that, and they like you know got all these swords and all this stuff, and they walking away like I got you, and the other person is like real sad, like they just gave up. Somebody felt like they was defeated by somebody else. Or some of y'all may have been defeated by someone else or felt that way. That you just de just got defeated in a, a love situation because this is love reading. Okay? Could have been by uh, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra person. This is the energy of them. Okay? For some of you Scorpios out there. I hope I didn't say Pisces. If I did, forgive me. It's is Scorpio. Okay, Scorpio, the next one I'm seeing is the Queen of Swords. Again, Aquarius, Gemini, or Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra energy, and this is the Queen or the King. It just depends on who's watching the video, as you can see in this picture. Um, the Queen or the King are sort of like a little cold. You know, they're sort of like distant. They're sort of like um, uh, they're sort of the type that are, uh, they seem to be very detached, okay? Now, the queen or the king, you know, the queen has her sword up and she's got her, her veil on, which meaning, you know, they could be psychic, you know, or they have some type of uh, intuition about things. Maybe she has, or he has an intuition about something. So they're sort of like they're protecting themselves, okay? They're protecting themselves from maybe this, whoever this is, um, feeling like they're defeated. Or maybe somebody took something from someone. 
and now they're defending themselves. Okay, is what I'm getting. Again, the air energy is here. So it could be an air sign for uh for a lot of you that you're dealing with. And with the seven of cups, it's like um <clears throat> With the Seven of Cups here, it looks like, you know, somebody's being dreamy about something, like maybe having some type of fantasies, some some type of illusions regarding a situation here. It could be with a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. This could be you. This is you because it's your energy, okay? Um, being dreamy and uh, illusion, like illusioned about something and kind of like not really thinking the way you need to be thinking regarding this situation because it seems like somebody here is, is, has made you feel defeated or like you, like you wasn't good enough and they just took, you know, just kind of like done it in a little nasty type of way. You know what I mean? Like not even playing fair. Somebody here wasn't playing fair with some of you Scorpios out there. Um, could have been some fights as well. But see, Scorpio, like I said, you're still being dreamy. Kind of like come off of that dream land, that dreamy type, uh, illusional type of thing. You know, most, you know, that up in the clouds. Your head is up in the clouds and you're just being dreamy, okay? Or for some, I'm picking up there may be some type of drinking or self-medicating with pills or something of that nature, alcohol, you know, something, smoking, uh, anything, something like that, that can, being that it's cups is, you know, the liquid, you know, water, watery, it ha may have something to do with drinking or, or some type of drug to dilute yourself, to maybe even to fall asleep because there's so many, so many choices or something or so many decisions that you need to make here. And maybe you just don't want to make them. Or it's a hard decision because you feel left out or feel like you got defeated in a love situation. And then with the five of wands, there's, you know, fighting, you know, or inner tur turmoil with yourselves. Okay, there might be some inner tur turmoil, fighting over something that, like, it looks like more, you know. With the seven of cups, a lot of options, okay. Whoever this was, they probably have other options, other, other options available to them. And... It looks like everybody's fighting over this person, male or female, just depends on who's watching the video. It looks like, you know, everybody's scrapping and fighting over the same, over the same thing. Okay. See that bride? It, not like it looks like somebody wedding and they got the flower. Everybody like scrapping over it. Okay. That's what that is because somebody's got a lot of options. Playing on all those options. All right disappointing people, running over top of people, maybe not letting people know that they got more than one person in their life and they're being a, like some type of player, I don't know, and and got everybody fighting over them or turning against one another. Or for in some cases, it's like somebody's being delusional or, you know, in a fantasy of regarding love and not really facing the facts and end up, you know, and they get into this fight or, or inner fight Fighting within themselves. Some of you might be fighting within yourselves regarding a relationship because they have a lot of options or you got a lot of options. It could go the other way too. It could where you not be playing fair with somebody that comes in and out of your life or they may be illusional or delusional or they may have a drinking problem or some type of problem here. And you may be getting all the attention For some of you. Everybody's wanting the same thing here. But here we go with the hangman maybe, you know, saying, hey, stop and um, think about this thing for a minute. Take, you know, hold up, you know, even hold up from if, the, if, it's, if it's some of you being where you're fighting over one thing, one person that has a lot of options or fooling with a lot of people and you don't want to see it. You know, you're kind of like delusional in it or some kind of illusional type of thing where you don't want to feel like 
you're defeated, so you're just making up stuff in your head like this could work, but you're fighting yourself or fighting other people to get that, still trying to get what you want here or think it's yours, but they got a bunch of people fighting over them. You're not the only one I'm hearing. So stop and think about it. Look at everything from a different point of view with the hangman, which is a major account of card here. Stop and look at things from a different perspective. Turn yourself upside down. Or for some of you, I'm hearing that you are upside down over this person, whoever this person is, who has plenty of options, plenty of choices. And um, people are fighting, you know, fighting over women are fighting over the man or man went man is fighting over this woman who has plenty of options this here uh this fell out and this is an extra card and it fell out so i left it out here i asked should i leave it out they said yes because this could be what it is a male or a female the emperor or the empress she's been coming out in a lot of people's readings here this empress is on the move here in every everybody's sign she's showing up and she may be showing up as like the second person, like the, the one who is wanted, he or she, the emperor or the empress is coming out where they're in demand, you know, or they could be where, you know, they could be somebody that, that's, that the men are fighting for, if you're a woman, it's the men are fighting for, if it's a man, is where the women are fighting for, okay, this empress here who got her shit together, very, uh, she, you know, fertile, very, uh, fruitful. She's very independent. She knows how to hold her own. She knows how to get what she wants. So she's very confident. She's been through high and hell waters too. Yes. She could be the other woman that everybody is after or the other man that every woman is after. So, you know, like I said, look at this thing from a different point of view. Or, you know, some of you are fighting over somebody who's going to just, you know, leave you hanging, point blank. They're just going to leave you hanging. Y'all going to sit up there and be fighting, you know, over something, and, and they just going to just, you know, keep keep it moving. They're going to keep it moving and leave, and leave you hanging to think about some things, you know, like, okay, I'm just hanging here. Where you at? Well, they out getting away with stuff. Getting away with whatever they want to get away with. Doing what they want to do at any cost. They don't care about nobody else's feelings or emotions or nothing. They don't care if you're stressing over them. Or it could be the other way around. But, you know, as you think about things, as you stop, hold it and think about stuff. Go into thought mode. You know, really kind of like... Just put on the brakes and you think about things, the sun could, the sun will come out. You know, you will be happy, male or female. You can be happy. You can start anew. The sun will come out. You'll feel like a brand new person if you just rethink this thing and not get yourself caught up in inner turmoil or, you know, um, some type of fantasy and all that stuff, stuff they ain't even real. You're just making it up yourself when somebody else don't even give a damn about for some of y'all. Or you're doing this to someone else. Scorpio. So, you know, like I said, uh, you're going to feel like a little kid again once you rethink and redo this whole situation. Once you stand still for a moment. And go inside yourself or look at everything differently for what it really is instead of being in a loop, an illusion. So the Knight of Coins comes up. The Knight of Coin shows up, which could be some of y'all could be in, a, in with a, a, a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Okay, or a fire sign, um, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo, or a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, or a fire sign, I'm sorry, air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra for some of you. And like I said, with the Knight of Coins coming in here, you know, from the Sun card means, you know, starting all over again, you know, with the Knight of <coughs> Coins, I'm feeling like... <coughs> There's going to be some type of offer. You know, there'll be another offer. 
And with the eight of coins, I think that off, when you get that offer, it'll be, it, you'll be able to grow. It'll be something that you could work with. Okay. Something that can, you can work with and grow with. And it may be this empress here or the emperor if you're a woman. Empress if you're a man. Because this one fell out, just flipped out after these cards flipped out. That's what I like about this deck. To me, when I do this deck, they're really fast. When you're shuffling the card, they just, you know, they ready to talk. They These are talkers because probably most of them are women depicted on a picture with a feminine type uh most of them are all women. Maybe that's why, you know, as women, we like to talk. So when I shuffle the cards with these, they just, they pop right out. You know, other decks that are more, you know, heavier, they take take a while. But these cards like to talk. That's what I love about them. And they're really fast and they straight to the point. Okay. So, yeah, that's the, what I got for you uh, Scorpios out there. You know, hang in there. You know what I mean? Um, snap out of this illusion that you're in with somebody who comes and goes. Get what they want, and then they're leaving. They're being very underhanding and cutting. Okay, about it. They don't care. Um... Is something that you dreamy, you know, or think, hoping, wishing that something could happen out of this, but it's just a no-win situation. They got other options where, you know, other people are fighting over them, fussing over them. You're not the only one, but, you know, the hangman said, you know, look at it from a different way. Is this really worth it, you know? Come out of the dream world with the seven of cups or come out of the illusion or stop drinking, slow that down or whatever it is you're doing there so you can see the real deal. And then the sun will come out for you where you'll be able to start your life all over again, brand new beginnings with the sun card, happiness, feeling like a kid again, away with your burdens, you know, aside with your burdens. And then you'll just, you know, be like the knight of uh, coins to come in or the the princess of coins could come in if you're male or female and um it'll be somebody you can be work better with you'll have a better relationship with this person with the eight of coins here and you can meet somebody at, at your at, at a job as well for some of you i feel like you might meet someone at your job some of you may take you know use your job to you know kind of like <laughs> Instead of a relationship, you might take, you use your job to cut, you know, kind of like with this new beginning. You may just be focusing on work instead of a relationship, but there's a relationship coming in because this one popped out, okay, while you're up there working and thinking that you're just going to be focused on work and nothing else, not love. Love is coming in here with the emperor, empress or the emperor, emperor if you're a man watching it. I mean, if you're a woman watching, if you're a man, it's the empress coming in. So love is coming in when you least expect it. You know, you'll be so doggone busy, you ain't going to expect it, but it's just going to pop in, just like that card popped out when I was shuffling. When I was supposed to be done, it just popped on out as an extra card, and I asked the guys if they want me to use it, and they said yes. Okay, that's it for your reading, Scorpio, but I'm going to give you, I pulled a card from my deck. Simply Loves uh, Oracle Affirmation Cards, okay? And I have those for sale. Just email me if you'd like to have some. Email me if you'd like my Simply Love t-shirts, which I, you know, you can see in the uh, past video. And I'll give you the price as you email me and uh, get those for you. So what I pulled for you, Scorpio, um, and matter of fact, like I said, this is for some, not all. Do you boo-boo? <laughs> it kind of goes with your reading too it's like you're doing you boo boo don't worry about nothing else just do you okay and then your healing card I have for you it says it's important not to get stuck in therapy okay so now the back of it reads therapy is a necessary boat that takes you across a rough river to a new shore. In time, through though you must step out of the boat, 
and onto new earth and never look back. So just like I seen, you know, with in your reading, this does correspond with what it's saying, you know, starting all over with the sun card, you know, doing you know, getting yourself together and starting anew and just keeping it going, keep it moving. And you know, that stuck part that they were talking about remind me like the hangman and that seven of cups where you're stuck in some type of illusion or delusion. You got to get off of that shit sometime and start living your life. That's basically all it's saying. Okay, Scorpio, male, females, thank you so much for joining Simply Love in this short segment of the mid-month. It's always shorter mid-month. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for your um, your shares, your cares. I thank you for um, you called in for readings. Love you all. And I'll see you guys in uh, February. Take care. Love each and every one of you. Love is all there is. And what? Love is all there ever be. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. <laughs>